I wanted to talk about a other couple of things, especially um, your time with, with Machine Head we were already into. Um, in 2018, you um, had to step away. Um, it seems to me that uh, you were having some health issues. Is that correct? Or was there some other underlining issues? <laughs> there was, yeah, there was no health issues. Oh, okay. No. It was, uh, it was the end of a, it was the end of a marriage, you know, so it was just time to get divorced. Gotcha. It was, it was 16 years of, you know, awesome times, did some amazing things, wrote some, you know, amazing records and had some amazing experiences and, uh, it just wasn't anymore. It was just time to move on. So, uh, I, I quit in September. They had quit the next day. And uh, we, we had a tour lined up, a States tour. So we, I was hoping that they would get somebody to replace me, but then Dave quit. So it's just like, I, you know, either we had to honor the tour. Mm -hmm. So we honor the tour. Pretty awkward. Uh, we finish it up. Imagine. I asked Joe at home, you know, it's, I've been gone. We had a, like a two year old kid at that point and Mars been home. You know, we started the business. You know, All right, I'm home. You know, it's over. And, so uh, she goes to the show. It was in the Santa Cruz mountains. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the area, but so it's a windy road. I drive her home. She went to the show. She just gets hammered. She's in the pit, you know, she's, you know, smoking pot with randoms in the pit, you know, and just <laughs> goes up the balcony and she's throwing up on my cousins and stuff. And, you know, just violently ill after the show. It's like, I'm saying goodbye. 16 year career saying, where's my wife? I can't see her. I don't, you know, so they wheel her backstage right after the show on a road case. Just, I can't get up. You know, it was, it was amazing. It was the best. It was the best, you know, that's a great right. send off. That's a great. I'm send -off. Out. Yeah. Take, I take, take her home. You know, she wakes up the next morning. So hung over. All right, baby, I'm home. I look at my phone and there's a text from Carrie King going, Hey man, uh, can you learn 19 Slayer songs? And, be out here in a couple of days. <laughs> Gary's got to go. So that, so that, so that I was going to ask about how that came out too. Like you filled next, in for Slayer the next day. That's if she's still hung over from the night before. And I dropped the phone on the bed. I think it's, did, did I read it wrong? You know, did he mean maybe, or did it's like, no, we need you here now. And so, uh, that was on a Sunday, Monday, I go pick up my machine head gear out of storage. And on Tuesday, I'm on a, playing out to Germany, learning 19 Slayer songs. Wow. And how was, I mean, how was that going from Machine Head to Slayer shows? I mean, what, what was, what was the big difference, I guess? And not, you know, awkwardness aside from your last show to the new show in Germany, how was, how was that change of pace for you? You know, man, it was, I'm going from uh, some serious esteem issues in my playing and my worth in the industry and just, you know, wondering where I am and like, am I worthy to be in a band? And uh, going from that to one of the biggest metal bands in the world and my heroes, the reason why I play heavy music, saying, hey, you're worthy. We want you to be here to take care of this spot. Taking, you know, Gary Holtz, a hero of mine from, you know, 35 years in the Bay Area scene, watching him just be this innovator, filling some pretty big shoes, man. So I think that that Slayer experience saved my musical career to where it's like and, and maybe saved me as a person in some sense you know just going gotcha. hey you know but it was cool stepping into you know that band and helping out and you know i was part of their meet and greets and they really welcomed me as as like just not just kind of a fill-in but you were just you're part of slayer for this bit and um I had some great experiences with some real people and you know the two camps operate completely different you know the machine Head camp you know, totally pro, and uh, but this is just a different, you know, a different world that I was stepping into. And Lamb of God's out there, and Anthrax is out there, and Obituary guys are out there, man. I was just welcomed with open arms and, you know, tackled a pretty big, not really an obstacle, but, you know, just this thing that's put in front of you where you're like, okay, hey, dude. You're uh, you're filling in for Steve Harris. We need you to learn twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I do too well. Though. <laughs> but you do it. You know, you would bear down and you do it, and you'd find that you know every musician probably has that within them. But it, it took that happening for me to kind of find that for me. You know, it's very interesting you say that. Um, in all honesty, yeah, I mean, to be able to do that does kind of. Sh I mean, it opens you up. You you get complacent for a little while, I guess, as a musician, you know, and it's hard to say, like, you know, 
you get to a point, you're really stoked. You get you get a certain amount of success. I mean, for you, you've been in the in the business for a lot longer than I have, and uh, that's not to show, show your age. That's to show your uh, legendary <laughs> status. Uh, but uh, <laughs> um, it's you know it's. It, you get to a certain point and then you get a little complacent sometimes. It's easy to rather. I don't know if it's the way for everybody, but you know, I could play anything in this genre. I don't need to learn anything more. You know, you get to that point and then something happens and you go, no, I, I, I still got work to do, you know, and, uh, and you rise into that challenge every time you accomplish it in some way, whatever that challenge is, is very uplifting um, I know that for myself, so I, I, I can sympathize with you a little bit there. Yeah, I've spent, you know, probably the last five years or so just really working on my technique and trying to become a better player. And, uh, you know, this this downtime is really, you know, I've opened up the home studio and really gotten into that. And recording yourself, man, you're your, your own worst critic. You know, it's of just course. like, space bar, you know, command Z. Do it again, you know. <laughs> and then after you think it's done, you go back and you're like, oh, fuck. Oh, no. Solo that shit up. Double it. <laughs>